What is up, my peeps? Joshua Smith here with another GSD Mode podcast, a leveling up episode where every single week I come to you delivering different tips, tactics, and strategies to help you continue to level up in your own personal success journey. Now, today I'm here to talk to you about how actions show what it is that we truly value and how words are hollow. This is really important to understand, so I'm going to go out there and repeat that. Words are hollow, action, actions show what it is that we truly value. So I'm going to break down a six-step plan so you can go out there and get shit done and make sure that your actions are congruent with the goals that you have. So instead of just talking about this and talking shit like most people do and just becoming delusional and just sitting there mentally masturbating all day, um, how you can go out there and get into action and start making what you want a reality become a reality in your life. And again, words are hollow. Actions show what we truly value. We just got to deal in reality, stop being delusional, and accept that concept. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm going to go through six steps here on how to go out there and start taking action so you can go out there and get shit done. Okay, step number one is to get extreme clarity on what it is that you want, why you want it, why it's important to you. I know if you listen to this podcast a lot, you hear me talk about this a lot, but this is so damn important. And this is where it all begins. If you don't know where it is that you're going, how then can you possibly know what those day by day, moment by moment actions are that you need to take? You got to understand that success is just small, tiny decisions made each and every single day, all throughout the day that compound over time that then boom, lead into a successful life. And failure is just the opposite of that. Failure is just small, tiny errors in judgment that are practiced each and every day all throughout the day that compound over time that then turn into a failed life. So how do we know if we're making the right decision to lead us to success or lead us to failure unless we're clear, uh, clear on what it is that we want most? So I want you to make sure that you spend time getting that crystal clarity on what it is that you want most in every aspect of your life that's important to you, that matters most to you, what it is that you want. What do you want? Why do you want it? Why is it important to you? And do this for every aspect of your life. So your business, your health, your relationships, all of that. So that's number one. Because if we don't know where we're going, then how the hell can we reverse engineer the architectural plans to go out there and put in place, right? Because it's those day by day decisions that get us then to where we want. It's those building blocks. Okay, so number two, then I want you to make a list of who you must become. So once you get clarity on what you want, a mistake that so many people make is they just all of a sudden go out there and they're like, all right, dude, now I'm going to go out there and find the plan. I'm going to go out there and find the strategy. You know, one of my longest term mentors that I've had that's had a massive impact on my life before I go to him and present a business plan, he's like, look, if I just go to him with a business plan, he's like, that's a waste of time. Don't show me this before you show me this to review this, show me your becoming plan. And by that, he means who must you become in order to make your goal a reality. So I want you to make a list of whom you must become. So if we're going to go out there and list this out, okay, so like what are like, okay, who, who what are the behaviors? What are the habits? What are the rituals of the, you know, of the person that is already living your dream life in any aspect of that? So maybe you're like, okay, hey, you know, I got to be, you know, that person would be somebody that is disciplined. That is somebody that uh, is a massive action taker. That is somebody that does not, pro uh, does not procrastinate. I know I kind of the same thing as action taker. So somebody that does not procrastinate. I can't really spell that, so I'm going to do it all sloppy as hell. <laughs> My spelling's pretty bad. Um, all right, so somebody that, that does not pro uh, procrastinate. All right, somebody that operates with insane urgency. You know, somebody, and we already talked about discipline, but you can, you know, these can be somewhat repetitive and you can go through and combine the list. Okay, but somebody that, you know, has insane amounts of willpower. Somebody that um, is always growing, always expanding, that's focused on growth and self-development. So then maybe you're like, okay, hey man, somebody that, uh, you know, like I went through this recently. If you've noticed recently, um, if you've been following me on, on any platform, uh, I've been pushing a shit ton more content out there and a lot of short form, you know, for a long time, I was like, oh, I know I need to be doing this, you know, but then recently I went through this exact exercise. I'm like, look, the, the, to, in order to get to where I want to go, the person that, that I must become is the person that puts out massive amounts of content that is releasing content on a level that other, it just blows others' minds. Yeah. You know, right? Um, then from there, it's like, okay, like what are those traits that you're missing? You know, okay, man, I got to be somebody that's likable. I got to be, man, I got to be likable. I got to be able to build instant rapport. You know, I got to be enthusiastic. 
Um, I got to be, you know, have massive amounts of enthusiasm. I got to be a great people connector. I've got to, you know, maybe you're in somebody that's introverted like me. So then you're like, okay, I might be introverted, which means that I need solitude time to go out there and gain my energy. But introversion doesn't mean shy, right? So then, I mean, it, it, most of us introverts are naturally shy. But a long time ago, I was like, hey, man, I got, even though I'm introverted, I got to be somebody that comes across as I'm not introverted. I got to be somebody that can step on stages. I got to be somebody that, that you know, uh, uh, can be the life of the party. I got to be, you know, when people, like when people find out I'm an introvert today, they're like, holy shit, I would have never guessed, you know, um, because, but that's been intentional. I had to become that different person, you know, so then that way we go out there and create our becoming plan. All right, so make a list of, of uh, who you must or whom you must become. And then this gives you a list of, okay, uh, this is the shit I got to start doing each and every day. I got to start doing these things. I got to make these things a reality. I got to go out there and work on becoming these things. So early on, this was, a, you know, I don't know, about 15 years ago, I was like, look, I can't be this introverted person in my shell. I got to be that kind of person that goes out there, that can work a room, that can jump on stage, that can seem powerful, that can do those things. So then I was like, okay, how do I become this person? I went and joined Toastmasters for a year. So I joined, I didn't join it to go out there and speak effectively. So I wasn't saying ums. <laughs> if you watch me a lot, dude, like, you know, I, I don't, I'm not the cleanest speaker on the planet, but that wasn't my purpose of taking it. My purpose of taking it was that I could get in a front of a room of strangers and go out there and articulate a message, right? To go out there and just, just not be hidden in this shell, all reserved, freaked out about getting on that stage. I want to be something that show up, boom, and could go out there and deliver that message, right? So you got a list of whom you must become, and now you start working and taking action on becoming that person. All right, so then from there, I want you to make a list of all the shit you must stop doing. So this is step number three. Make a list of all the shit you must stop doing that are just totally blocking you from making your goals a reality. You know, years ago, I was like, dude, to, to make my goals a reality, become the person I must become, to go out there and create and live my dream life, I need to give up alcohol. That's just a stupid damn thing. And I'm not telling you that you need to do that. That for me, I had a problem with it. It was blocking me. It was blocking my performance. It was a time waster. You know, like, I, dude, it was, it was an issue. So I was like, okay, I need to cut that shit out. You know, maybe it's TV, maybe it's, you know, certain social activities, whatever it is. Like, you'll, you'll know what it is based on what you want. Just asking yourself, like, okay, is this congruent? Again, words are hollow. Actions show what we truly value. Is this thing an action that you should be taking, that you should be allowing yourself to participate in that is getting you to where you want to go? If not, you got to fucking eliminate that shit. Like, you just got to go out there and cut it out. Sometimes in life, we just have to go out there and make those hard decisions. It's either serving you or it's enabling you. It's either supporting you or it's not, right? It's very cut, clear, dry. So on that uh, step number uh, three here is I want you to make a list of all the shit you must stop doing. Okay, then number four, this is uh, where then most people usually start, but there's a reason as to why this needs to be number four. Then number four, now I want you to put together a plan and strategy on what you must do to make that goal reality. So like, okay, now we know what you must not be doing. We know whom you must become. Of course, we got clarity on what you want, why you want, why it's important to you in all aspects of your life that matter to you, right? And then now, these are the things that you know you need to be doing um, or you need to go identify the plan to go out there and make that a reality. You know, so okay, like I just told you guys recently, I'm like, okay, I'm to become who I need to, uh, uh, to get to where I wanna go, I gotta be the kind of person that takes massive action on creating and publishing insane amounts of content. Okay, well, that's who I need to become, but I still needed the strategy. What, what kind of content do I create? What platforms do I post it on, right? How do I, what, what, what do I do for reels versus shorts versus stories versus, you know, all of this, uh, uh, you know, all of this shit versus posts. Like I had to put down a, a strategy, a frequency, when to post, what to post, when, you know, how that goes, how to engage. That's the plan, right? So then from there, okay, now go uh, put together your plan and strategy on what you must go out there and do. Okay, then step number five, um, eliminate anything or anyone getting in your way. Now, I know I already talked about getting rid of all the shit that you know you should be getting rid of. This step number five here, this is more as you are executing down, taking action on your strategy. So you got, you got your, your overall plan now, you know, you're at your, stra your strategic plan, and you have your becoming plan. So you're working on now two plans, whom you must become at all times, 
right? And then you're working on executing on your actual day-to-day, week-to-week, month-over-month actual strategy plan, right? So, but then from there, you're going to have blocks that come up. So this is really just dealing in daily reflection and identifying, okay, what is blocking me? So eliminating anything or anyone um, that is getting in your way. So right here, I got a comment on here from about Grant Cardone. So I met Grant Cardone for the first time about a decade ago. Now, this was before he was you know, extremely internet famous like he is today. Um, and he's out there. He's a keynote speaker at a real estate conference. I show up there like to the point like he's out there getting his booth set up for his books and him and his assistant are there. And, and it wasn't swarmed by people like nobody in that room really knew who he was at that point. Right. Um, but I knew that by looking at the, you know, the, I don't know, the agenda for the event, I knew that he was the keynote speaker. So I went up, introduced myself, and I started talking to him. And just an amazing human being. You know, yeah, he's a badass online. Um, uh, but I can tell you, I've had a couple times now where I've met him. I've been able to talk with him on a one on one setting. And both times, I mean, for like an hour or so, you know, session. And he's just one of the most attentive, caring human beings I've ever met. Like, you know, sometimes that, that badass persona he puts off online, and he is a badass. I'm not trying to say that he isn't. You know, but when you get one on one, you can tell that he truly cares about helping other people out. At least that's exactly how I felt. And not just how I felt, like that's how what I knew, you know, uh, in that situation because he actually poured into me. Now he started asking me all about my goals. You know, I, I just had turned 30. So I just had won the 30 under 30 NAR. I just had become the 30th top uh, uh, realtor in the, the uh, US, according to the Wall Street Journal. And I was like, dude, you know, I'm, I'm hitting some, some successes, but I'm just still not where I need to be, man. There's something I'm missing. I'm like, there's something guys like you are doing that I'm not doing that I'm just missing. I can't figure out what that thing is. And he looked at me and he goes, everybody thinks that, but your problem is, is that you are focusing on the wrong thing. He looks at me, then he says, success is almost never in addition. Success is always almost always in elimination. You need to ask yourself what or whom must you eliminate that's blocking and prohibiting you from taking the necessary actions that you must take to make your goals a reality. And boom, that just hit home. And then I went to just elimination mode. Again, anything day to day. And this is that day to day reflection where it's like, okay, dude, this thing is either serving me or it's enabling me. It's either getting me one step closer or, or it's blocking me or it's retru- forcing me to retract. If it's not getting me one step closer, it's got to get the cut. You got to make those hard decisions because and, and, oh, you're like, oh, yeah, well, man, they're, they're a friend, you know, or, or you think they're a friend. True friends are going to support you. They're not going to enable you. OK, like when I gave up drinking and, and, and went through that path. OK, if I had if any real friend wouldn't be like, oh, Josh. Dude, come on, man. Come celebrate with me. They wouldn't make me feel bad and guilty. They'd be like, hey, dude, I'm here to do whatever I got to do to support you. And if like a good friend would be like, if I'm tempted to have a drink, they'd be like, dude, I'm not going to let you have that drink. Even if I got to wrestle you to the fucking floor or beat your ass unconscious so you cannot take that drink and give it that weak moment. That's what a good fucking friend would do. You know, right? Like uh, uh, somebody you don't need in your life are enablers. They are not good friends. And it could be hard in those situations, but you just got to understand that, hey, this isn't a true friend. And I'm not saying you got to eliminate immediately, but you can have a come to Jesus hardcore conversation with them first up front. And then if they don't get their fucking shit together, then you got to give them the cut, right? So so eliminate anything or anyone getting in your way. All right, so then at number six, review at least twice X daily. And when I say review at least twice X daily, I'm talking about number one through four here. So every single day, at least twice a day at a minimum, we're going to re- review what you have clarity on. So what it is that you want most in all aspects of your life. So you review, I mean, I, at least every morning when you wake up, right before you go to bed every night. And then I recommend as many times as you need throughout the day, especially any time that you have a weak moment. All right. So then you're going to review your becoming list every single day. My becoming list, you can't see this right now because my office is right down that hallway. Um, but in my office, right next to my computer is a big ass whiteboard. And I have my whole becoming list on there. So I see it every single day. So I have a vision board showing all the things that I want most. So I have that visual. So not only am I reviewing it every morning when I first thing when I wake up and am I reviewing it every evening right before I go to bed, dude, it's like right next to my computer. So I'm working, doing emails, whatever, like it's at my visuals all damn day long. I'm seeing it right there, right? Um, uh, all right, so then you're gonna be reviewing your, your must stop doing list, right? So, um, you know, part of my vision board, I got all the way to the left side is all the shit that I wanna go out there and create. So I split up in kind of three categories, you know, right? All the shit I got to create, 
middle is all the things I got to be doing. On the far right side is all the things I know I need to eliminate to make that a reality. All right, so then from there, I'm also going to review number four here, the plan and strategy I must be executing on. So I keep that front of mind. Out of sight, out of mind, front of, front of sight, front of mind. We stay focused on it. We keep executing on it and will allow you to have less and less weak moments. When that stuff's front of mind and a decision comes up of, should I go do this thing? I can glance at my vision board, glance at my becoming list and ask myself, does this align or not? If it aligns, it's a hell yes. If it doesn't align, it's a hell no. It becomes very simplistic because again, actions show what you truly value. If your actions ever get out of congruency with what it is that you value, Okay, then you know you're fucking up. And then then, then you got to have a just a real heart-to-heart -heart with your own self and ask yourself, is this truly important to me? Right? I mean, because if it's truly important to you, you're going to prioritize to it. You're, you're going to prioritize it. You're going to take action on it. If it's not something that's important to you, you're not going to actually do it. Most people say they want all this stuff that really truly isn't important to them. you know, Or they just don't understand this and they like to just operate in a delusional state. It's like when I get uh, you know, a coaching client or an agent that I you know mentor my team, and they come to me and they're like, oh man, you know, I'll ask them like, what's most important to you? And they're like, dude, making money, making more money, you know, creating more money, more opportunities for my family um, and having an abundance of time, you know, to go out there and spend with my family. So, you know, they, they want to be able to control their time and have control of, of their own monetary fate. And then I'll ask them, okay, well, like, let me, let me see your trackers. And they're not tracking. And I'm like, okay, the fact that you are not tracking shows me that you are absolutely and utterly full of shit on the things that you just told me. You don't actually care about creating more opportunities for you and your family. And you don't actually care about being able to spend more time with your family because if you did, you would be tracking your data because without track data, it is an impossibility to know how you're allocating your time, right? Like, I mean, if, if, any, if I get anybody tracking their data and we get solid good data within, and it usually takes about six months to get good solid data, Right, like I can double their business in half the time with track data versus untracked data. I mean, it's so simplistic because you're able to identify where you're getting ROE, uh, ROI, return on your investment, how, where you're getting ROE, return on your energy, return on your time. Right, you're able to see what to cut out, what to scale up, what's working, what's not working. You know, so from a monetization aspect and from a time saving aspect, all right, if you're tracking that data, you can go out there and accomplish those things. But if you're sitting there saying those things are important to you, then you're not willing to do the actions and the necessary, like the key necessary thing, you know, at the highest level to make those things a reality, to be able to make those smart decisions. Okay, then you don't truly value that thing. So we just got to, again, we, we, we got to quit being delusional. And we just got to wake up to the fact that there's just shit that we got to do, even though it sucks to go out there and make our goals a reality. All right, so I want you to review this at least twice every single day at a minimum, and then just continue taking day-to-day -day consistent massive action and go out there and dominate. All right, now real quick, I want you guys to make sure to check out gsdmode.com. And on there, if you want and if you are looking for you know, me to be your personal coach for your growth of your overall real estate business, if that's something that you want, if that's something that you're interested in, if you go to gsdmode.com, click on that coaching tab, you can schedule a, a, a zero pressure discovery call with me personally. It's an hour long call. You know, we'll spend about 15, 20 minutes of that where I'll talk to you about the coaching program, answer any questions that you have with it, let you know what it all entails. So you have all the information to make your own best decision from there. The other 40 minutes, we'll talk about your business. You know, where you're currently at, where you want to go, your current biggest obstacles. So even if you decide to not move forward with my coaching, this call will be a massive value, massive benefit. But those are, for those of you that are looking to take your real estate business to the next level, um, and if you are looking to have me as your coach and or mentor or both, like I guess I should say coach and mentor, you know, throughout this experience, and I'm the best in the game, hands down, at getting anybody from where they want to go to, to or where they're at to where they want to go, whether you're an individual agent, team leader, or brokerage owner. And if you want the most effective coaching program that exists in the industry, that also happens to be the most affordable, then check that out. GSDmode.com, hit that coaching tab, schedule that 100% uh, zero pressure discovery call. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm not going to push it. Here's what it is. If it's for you, cool. If not, that's okay too. And then we'll do a deep dive into your business, see if I can help support you. Whether you, whether you decide to move forward or not, it's going to help you greatly grow and expand your real estate business. I hope you guys found this helpful. Keep crushing it, keep kicking ass, and I will see you next time. Peace.